Why do we need to change our food system? Every day you have to eat, just like the other 7.2 billion people on the planet. By 2050, at least 2 billion more people will join you. Will you be able to continue eating the same way? Let's take a look together at four examples of our food system's limitations. First limitation. One out of every three people suffer from malnutrition. 794 million people suffer from hunger and 2 billion people do not have sufficient access to vitamins and minerals necessary for growth and development. On the other hand, 1.9 billion people overeat and 600 million of those people are obese. Consequently, more people suffer from illnesses such as type 2 diabetes. Second limitation. Our food is too rich in fat, sugar, salt and meat. This type of diet has an impact on health and the environment. For example, it can lead to increased heart disease and higher greenhouse gas emissions from meat production. In addition, our food is less diverse. 75% of our food now comes from only 12 plants including rice, corn and wheat, and from five animal species, including cows, chickens and pigs. Third limitation. One third of food is wasted. Out of all the food we produce, one third is not consumed but thrown away. Fourth limitation. Our natural resources are under pressure. Sources of fresh water are running dry and existing water resources are becoming polluted. 33% of soils are degraded. Our biodiversity is threatened, with tropical forests disappearing and many plants and animals endangered, such as bees. These problems are intensified by climate change. Such limitations clearly show that our food system must be transformed. Each step of the food system – production, processing, distribution, consumption – needs to be adjusted to ensure healthier food to our growing population and to reduce its environmental impact. But above all, it is necessary to bring all the stakeholders together government and health authorities, producers, consumers, business people, to break down the silo thinking, examine all the points of view and work together to define the actions necessary to produce and eat food differently. For example, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and decrease levels of overconsumption. You too can participate in change Ask yourself about the food that you produce or eat, eat a balanced diet and reduce your food waste.